What the Tech is sponsored by Tennessee Wesleyan University, now offering online degree completion programs in business and criminal justice. Apply online today. It's basically a problem for everyone owning a smartphone or telephone. Unwanted robocalls that interrupt your day trying to take your money. New technology launched in June was supposed to cut down on the number of spam and robocalls getting to your phone. But as our consumer technology reporter Jamie Tucker explains, some people are getting more robocalls than ever. This new technology called Stir Shaken was launched at the end of June. All of the cellular providers required now to use it to cut down on the number of robocalls being made from spoofed numbers. But we're getting more robocalls now than we did before. So do you know that why you are getting this call? So is this new technology working or not? A wireless carriers are required now to verify that a call is coming from the number displayed on your screen. If it isn't, if it's being placed by a computer, the call is not supposed to go through. In July, the first full month that Sir Shaken was implemented, look at what happened. Robocalls actually dropped by about 3%, but look, in August, the number went back up to nearly 6.3 billion robocalls. That's the most since last March, and about 23 robocalls for each person. Press 1 to get connected to one of the cancellations. What gives? Despite stir shaken, robocallers are just as busy, but they're not spoofing as many phone numbers as before. Most of the robocalls I received the past week were from Colorado, New York, Michigan, and Florida. So if there is good news, it should be a little easier identifying a robocall before you answer the phone. Earlier this week, the FCC proposed a $5 million fine against three people or a company for allegedly making unwanted robocalls. So if you get a robocall now, the FCC has a much better chance at finding the ones responsible. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. If you haven't already signed up for the Do Not Call list or want to report an unwanted robocall, you can do that on the FCC website, FCC.gov.